Shalom. I'm Rabbi Leo and I'm here to transform your day. Today's topic is creation and evolution. Have you ever wondered why it is that those scientists who most believe in evolution and take it to the greatest extremes, Richard Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens, are also those scientists who insist upon writing books that try to disprove the existence of God. Now why should that be? Well, it's fascinating because these very scientists, Richard Dawkins particularly, believe in natural selection, survival of the fittest, to the extent that it applies not just to the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom, but also to the realm of ideas themselves. And therefore, according to these scientists, any idea which is a long-lasting idea is also an idea that's fit for survival, a good idea. And of course, when they look at the history of ideas, they'll find that three and a half thousand years ago, the Torah was written, and it has been constantly studied from that point forward, and today remains the greatest selling book on this planet. And therefore, according to their theory, the Torah must be an idea that's suitable for survival, it's the survival of the fittest, and it must be the best idea that exists in humanity. Of course, in their opinion, it contradicts their own theory of evolution, therefore they have to write books about why God doesn't really exist, even though their theory seems to prove it. Now, of course, as Jews, we have no contradiction at all between creation and evolution. It could well be that God created evolution, which apparently is how he created the world. But it's interesting to note that those people who try to disprove God through theories such as evolution end up through a very indirect method coming to prove his existence after all. Have a great day.